Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Ching China for Hearts of Iron 4, where I left it off in the last episode of this playthrough. We had fixed the gap that had split our forces in China. We had defeated Japan. Japan made peace. Korea became free. Japan is no longer in Asia at all. We've overthrown our aggressors. We slaughtered them in the millions. And, of course... Now we have naval supremacy. In this episode, we're going to be trying to finish off China and gear up for the final push of this playthrough, which is adding the extents of the Qing dynasty. So, we're going to go ahead and begin where we left off. Uh, if you guys have noticed from the last episode, I have shifted some of the lines a little bit. I forgot actually to shift this line here. I wanted this blue army to move down here to this midsection, and I wanted them to try and push the uh, agenda of trying to cut these guys off. Actually, that's not even where I wanted them to push. I want them to, if I can wait for us on the autosave, I actually want them to push for that. So really I just went in the push for these ports and cut off as many Chinese as possible. Actually, let's not even make it that wide of a push. We can encircle even more. Let's just make it... We'll make it that wide of a push. Three tiles. Push anybody back this way and then, of course, capture the last port. Just waiting now for my men to get their resupplies back up. Our stockpile of infantry is skyrocketing. And our units should be deploying any time now. Uh, we do have a surplus of tanks. And speaking of surplus of tanks, I knew South Africa was going to probably cut off their lend lease. We're going to want to get our tank updated. And let's start getting our guns updated. Now, we are going to need more steel. Uh, lots of steel, actually. We just got to make sure Germany never dies. So if Germany dies, our steel production is going down. Um, We do own a lot of steel within our nation alone, um, but because of infrastructure damage, we're not getting uh, the full amounts of it. Guang Shi is really, it's the steel, and well, it's really the resource hub of our entire nation. And um, of course, uh, Alam, Alma Ata, a region that we are going to have to capture for our. Um, playthrough also has a lot of resources as well I uh, do not know if we have to get to Tashkent and uh, Stalinabad I do know however I did look at a map that I found and these two regions Pamir and uh, Almada and of course uh, Ayuguz were all regions that were captured by the um, Qing so we are gonna have to capture all these regions here and they were all taken um, from the Qing in the I think those two were taken from the Qing by the Russians during the 1700s and then later on the regions north of Manchuria were taken during the 1800s. So we have no other things to do right now waiting for motorized. We're going to have to go ahead and get the army stuff done. How long is motorized going to take? It's going to be done in 47 days. Um, while I wait, what do I want to research? We could go for the radio. However, I think I'm going to go for construction. And the good thing about this playthrough is that while the Chinese are starting up a new offensive. Okay, we got that. That's even more amazing. Right, let's go ahead and get uh, the decryption up and the encryption. Um, I've noticed the Chinese and the Soviets are the really... Um, throwing their soldiers at us. There is a lot of, of Soviet soldiers here. Um, a lot of Soviets massed on our border as well. We will be a good diversion for the um, for Hitler. We're not going to ask for much, 
But if we do get the chance, I am thinking about setting up our own uh, Soviet puppet as well after we take the regions we need. But after annexing uh, Tanutuva and Mongolia, as well as the regions we need from the Soviet Union, I don't know if we'll have many uh, political or points left because, of course, the major capture points are going to be captured by the Germans, uh, i.e. Leningrad, Moscow, Sevastopol, Stalingrad, Kiev, uh, Smolensk, Minsk. Well, I don't think Smolensk is even a major capture point. It should be. But Minsk as well is a major capture point. Um, I, don't think, I think the only the big capture point we have near us is Vladivostok. I think it's worth 15. Yeah. That's all we have. So we have more uh, factories available. I'm going to go ahead and throw that over on tanks. Get the tank production skyrocketing. How's our constructions going? As we are going to get some more of really need to start getting our infrastructure rebuilt. Probably will be after the war though. Alright. We're gonna have these two units uh, go ahead and smash through here. You know what, we're gonna make a, it's gonna be a full balloon assault everywhere. Are those, uh, are those marines are done. All right, we're gonna give them a marine commander. Uh, this guy right here. Um, so these guys don't actually count as uh, the kind of special forces. We're gonna give them the entrenchment bonus. Uh, the reason being is that they're gonna need the entrenchment bonus later on. We're gonna get these guys a naval invasion order from here to here. Oh, and that canceled it. Uh, while we do this, let's send you guys from there to there. Perfect. All right, why are we losing so many? All right, so we need for trade and supply. What are we trading that needs, needs convoys? We shouldn't be trading with anything that needs convoys. Oil doesn't need convoys, steel doesn't need convoys. So that means it's all going down in supply. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to fix this by getting a ton of dockyards. We'll put a ton here. And let's scroll down to the bottom. So let's... Am I getting experiencing lag or is it just not scrolling? It's just not scrolling, okay. How, how, how long until the first one gets done? Right, let's get this let's get this factory finished first. That's gonna be done in May. And that'll help our stuff go faster. Okay, so now we're done that. Let's go for the marine thing. Improve worker conditions, release the bandits. Um I don't know if we're gonna release the bandits. Uh you see we have the redemption armies here. I think we're gonna keep on to those, hold on to those guys. It's not like it's harming us at all. I don't think it is at least. Disband the banners of service complete. The Manchu banners can once again be sent to their homes and families since they are required once again. Or they're gonna be non-stop required. And what does the bandits do? The former criminals and outlaws have shown that they are willing to sacrifice for their emperor and can now be safely released back into society. Plus 10,000 manpower. Remove template and remove all units created from this template. So it just, yeah, it just honestly gives us back manpower that we're going to be used for other things. But we're going to need cavalry divisions now. When we want to start phasing out cavalry divisions, I can see removing them. But at the moment, we need them. Let's get these guys onto the front. Fine, if you have to walk, just walk then. We're gonna probably need to start getting some factories built. Still stiff resistance in Communist China justification. United States is justifying all oh, because they're doing fascist menace. Well that just that happened a little too early. Oh, well, 
There goes all our steel. Um, for the time being, we're gonna have to trade with the Soviet Union. All right, so we need to finish China off fast then. We don't even have the convoys necessary to. All right, so now with all the lend leases done, we're actually making a surplus. So we just need 11 to get these guys where they need to go. All right, so we can do ex experimental mechanize. Start that. How's our uh, divisions doing? They're, they're uh, meeting stiff resistance. We are, however, on the move. Let's go ahead and throw another unit to the fray. Honestly, the purple army is the main army we need. The, we just need the purple army to push as fast as it can to try and capture where it needs to capture. And we'll have this army move up as well, try and aid in that. It's only because China has more infantry divisions. When we finish this, we are going to add a ton more infantry divisions to where we, what we need. Um, you need to start uh, fighting there. Stop them from getting in. What can we do here? I want infrastructure construction speed. Well, we're not. We're trying to really repair our infrastructure at the moment. Decisive battle. Ground support. Air superiority. Let's do that. Let's see, does that help our air superiority out? Yes, that does help our air superiority out. Um, is there any other closer airfields we can get to? Oh, we have no airfields at all close to our guys. Alright, so we have two out of the eleven required to... Okay, never mind. Okay, so they're, they're being shipped out. They're going to land... We're going to capture this entire province here, and they're just going to start moving up, drawing guys off the front line, and hopefully ending this war faster. Launch yourselves across that river. Does, by any chance, can you, can you do anything special? How about you? Can you do anything special? How about you? Uh, this, or how about this blue army here? What can you do that's special? Nothing. You can't do anything special, you can't do anything special. But we had an army commander that could use special abilities. I guess we don't have an army commander that can use special abilities, okay. That's depressing. Uh, what's our guns looking like? 11,000 spare guns. Um, we are using up more than we're gaining. If I put upgrades on high priority though, it'll probably drop immediately. Drop by a thousand. Yeah, it's going to continually drop. So we're going to see how long it takes. Um, once it gets below, is it going to is it going to stabilize? All right. Well, if it drops below eight thousand, we are going to stop fighting um, or sending. Um, we need to pause real quick. Okay. Okay. So we do have a problem here. So they've put a large hole through our lines which means one thing um, that we need these three armies to stop fighting and then we need to redeploy them uh, to stop the Chinese breakthrough that's about to happen uh, I can already sense we're going to need these guns, so we're going to have to turn our upgrades off, and we're going to have to keep our reinforcements up. We're no longer making artillery, are we? No, we're not. I guess I'm making more artillery then. For reinforcements. Um, long until this naval uh, invasion can commence. We can do it now. Okay. Do that. Now let's have our guys try and stop this breakthrough. 
I, I need all units over here immediately. And so I drop the speed on this. Alright, so once these marines land, they're going to capture this entire island and start pushing up. And we do have seven divisions, so we can only capture seven provinces. But it's just going to be, it just needs to be enough to make a, make a presence. We're still fighting. The Chinese are not breaking. Right, we've encountered some resistance here, but we should break through, no problem. It looks like we've stopped their breakthrough for now. However, let's get rid of these attack lines here. Um, still doing good in the north, however. Not doing good. We just gotta keep destroying the Chinese. Now, we have gone over a million, but the Chinese have gone almost over a million as well. How's the Germans pushing into the... Alright, so they're, they're not doing so hot. How's the Soviet presence on our borders? Still at large. Okay, so there's still a large amount of Soviets on our borders now. Um, do we have fighters yet? We'll have another five get added to that. Because our fighters, uh, fighters are going to be done. They're not even good fighters, never mind. I was going to say, uh, we'll wait till we get good fighters. We'll smash to some good fighters. Right, let's stop the attacks um, from these armies here. They're doing nothing but wasting manpower. Um, we are doing good here. How's the purple armies advance? It's doing all right. Could go better, but it's doing all right. Uh, we've stopped the breakthrough from happening. Um, so we are going to need to take this blue army and move it one more over just to make sure they don't break through there. We have made a landing. That's right, so we have made a landing. Alright, so we're gonna send one unit like this. And we're gonna send one unit crashing into them. The other five are gonna move that way. Alright, let's pause real quick. I right, start getting fighter ones. Alright, let's see how well we can do here. Alright, so this unit's gonna move like so and make the crossing and this next unit should be moving around they should have captured this province by now, yep there they go alright we're gonna make an encirclement of these guys here alright let's go one more actually let's go two more because I don't want to get bottlenecked and you're gonna come crashing right into the backs of these guys alright so we, we own this entire thing here. Uh, Hainan, we own it. So that means we should be drawing forces off the enemy by now. Alright, uh, let's see if we can do another assault, try and push these guys back. And same here, let's do an assault. And we have the Red Army doing assault as well. Actually, they're, they're not even assaulting anything yet. Let's give them a battle line. Um. Actually, don't give them a battle line because we're still exposed because we haven't made good progress here yet. I actually, you need to stop your fighting. Stop fighting because um, you guys aren't even in position yet. There's so many British forces stuck in China and it's really not good. Alright, so we're still fighting down here, but this unit's going to die here shortly. And that's, this is probably going to be, I don't even know how many men are going to die in this. I'm going to be guessing in the in the thousands, at least four, four brigades in that division. Or four battalions, I mean, so that's, I don't know, that was probably about 1,200 men that just died there, so it's not too much, but it's 1,200 less men fighting us. Let's have these guys come crashing down in here, see what happens. All right, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Let's wear them down, I guess. Go ahead and stop them there. Let 
massive combined effort right there. All these men right here are going to be pushing on them because we need to move them up anyways. Capture that airbase too would be amazing. We can start moving our planes. I actually think we captured it. Not yet. Soon we'll have it. We'll have it soon. Our men are already pushing on it now. Oh man, I would seriously like to push on these two divisions right here. But these, this one division here is really pushing on me. We, if we throw an assault at these guys, it'll do well. Okay. We'll have these guys pushing here. Alright, these six have done their job. And you're gonna push there. Alright, um, my planes, my pilots are gonna come to this airfield here. They're gonna provide um, air support on the assault for the capital. I start trying to gain air superiority over this. Actually, since most of my forces are concentrated here, we're trying to gain air superiority over southern China because, of course, my marines are fighting down here, too. Alright, so we've got, got a large amount of marines sitting here. It just happened. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. Okay. Good for them. I say this is a problem with fascism. I just just declared war and joined the Allies. So if we do join the Allies, we will be going to war with the United States. So it just made everything a lot hairier to be fighting for, so... Actually, what we're going to do is, we're going to try and go for the capital, go for Baroque here. Capture the capital, we'll anchor ourselves on the French line there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll have one extra division to sit around. We'll anchor ourselves against the French lines, wait for them to get assembled, and then we'll do something. Right, let's get encryption, help ourselves out in battle. I know the Chinese probably by now have... Um, advantage. No, they still don't. Alright, let's do this. Where is my blue army? Because you guys are leaving another hole in the line. I don't want that. You're gonna you're gonna push for right there. That's gonna be where you push. And then because this army's still fighting here. They're still fighting. God they're never gonna be done fighting. Um, that's a breakthrough. Thank God I spotted that before it was too late. Let's, let's have you two, or let's have you guys stop them from coming through. And we'll have you get in there and stop that one division from running amok. And then we'll have you move that way to stop him. And then we'll have you move that way and try and cut him off at the pass. Jeez, I can't believe that guy got through our lines. Right, let's pause. All right. Um, combined arms does pretty good. Uh, let's think about it now. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We need to stop these guys from going through our lines. Um. So hopefully these guys can get through in time. All right, have you guys rush the, the communist capital and capitulate them? Are you guys ready to push? Are you, are you still planning or are you entrenching? Which ones? Are you still planning? When, how long are you, is it going to be taking? Alright. 3.2 each day, so you still got a while. We have one mechanized unit. Um, where could that go exactly? Actually, no, wait, no. I want you to go for the drive on the capital. Because we're so close to getting there. Engage. We're so close to capturing the capital at this point. I want you to capture that. Keep this open. I don't want it to be encircled. Alright, so we need, to, we need to draw some attention off some of our armies here. So what we need to do is we're going to take this army here. They're going to need to do a diversion. Alright, it's going to be a little wide of an attack, but you guys need to do it. And you need to go with your attack. We are going to end up leaving a gap in our lines, but we can maybe make up for that with our marines. 
All right, so literally almost done. You'll be actually done in a day or two. Large river crossing minus ten. So we'll have a plus thirty percent chance of victory. No, plus twenty percent chance. Not the best chance, but go for it. So we are pulling guys off the border. Um, how's how long is that tank unit gonna take? How about you just squish him already and kill him? So we need to finish the Chinese off. We are literally right outside of their capital. Come on, guys. Keep pushing. So there's 21 divisions right here alone. We're spreading this top army kind of out. It's kind of being spread out. Right, we need to get all our green units here. They need to be right back on the front line again. So everybody back on the front line now. Where's this tank headed? Hopefully he heads right where he needs to be. Well, obviously you're not heading where you need to be, so head that way. Because you need to be driving right for the capital, which is literally right on our doorstep. Um, makeshift bridges, that's exactly what I want. Okay, I, I didn't look. Switzerland joined the Allies. Okay, so Germany's trying to get itself killed, isn't it? All right, never mind. Switzerland's completely surrounded. Are they are they gaining land or are they losing land to the Soviets? I think they're losing land. Now, how many Soviet divisions are on our borders? Still a ton of Soviet divisions. So I think we're gonna have to conquer the Soviet Union on our own. Um, if not, we're gonna have to aid Germany in doing it. So when this war ends, we're gonna be doing a lot of heavy lifting. A lot of heavy lifting is going to be doing, done on the part of the Chinese. Let's start an attack in the north here. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Why don't we just finish down here? Oh, construction. Alright. Now let's get the conversion bonus. Conversion speed because of course we're going to be converting a lot of weapons when this ends. How's our marines doing down here? They're doing all right. Getting a lot of attention. Um, a lot of much needed attention off of our troops, which is remarkable. All right. all right, so we need to grab all these guys, push straight for the capital. Straight for that capital. Where's our armor unit at? You need to push straight for the capital as well. If this, if this capital falls, China falls with it. If you look at this right here, they're on 80 percent left they have 23 uh it controls 23 percent of its victory points and when it has five percent or less chong king is i believe 20 so it's not that many victory points left especially when a lot of these are our puppets and we're regaining our puppets territories let's have you uh keep moving on them we'll have you help push there Right, what do we just unlock here? Oh, we unlocked that marine thing. It's 1942. Let's start going for some more support. Actually, no, let's start getting our artillery up. We're going to start mass producing artillery. We're going to need it when we fight the Soviets. These two divisions are just sitting around. That's, uh, let's, no, that's not going to be beneficial to us. Let's throw them this way. Try and stop them from regaining that hold we have. And then we'll throw you guys into the fray. We're starting to gain some of these fortified places now. Get them away from the good. Okay, I'm, I'm happy the Germans got that done. So I'm facing the Soviets. We're, we're about to win here. A lot of Chinese troops. A lot of Chinese troops here. It looks like that marine diversion worked. How are we doing? Okay, so the German... Reich wants to send us all, okay, so they're going to be sending us all the uh, Swiss equipment they just captured, come on guys, 
Come on, we need to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Uh, we have a stacking penalty. Okay, well, let's stop you then. Does that get rid of the stacking penalty? No, it does not. Alright then. Well, I guess the only thing we can wait for is to try and... I guess encircle the city and hope for the best. Let's try and see if we can cut that air fort off because there's a lot of airplanes sitting in here. If we actually capture that airbase. Okay. So now we capture the airbase. Where are they all going to be coming from? Okay, so now the enemy air penalty is off because they'll be switching to a different airbase. Um, I'm guessing that the last Chinese airbase is this one right here, which is almost going to be captured by us. Okay, so we're actually starting to lose with the Marines here, so we need to stop our assaults here. Hold all our divisions. Allow them to... Oh uh, yeah, I was going to say, we're going to have a fiasco on our hands. Those three Marine divisions are going to be dead. Wish I would have caught them sooner. Hopefully they can break out. But we might be losing some marines here shortly. How long is it going to take for us to destroy them? Oh, you know what we need? We need the makeshift bridges, don't we? Makeshift bridges. Let's go. Ability is already active. Seven days. Okay. So we have seven days of makeshift bridges. It'll be especially because we have to crawl it. Look at that, look at that right there. That's exactly what we needed. Um, why aren't you guys striking there? Let's, uh, let's have you start heading this way. How's our equipment looking? Negative 19,000 because of reinforcements. Jeez. Yeah, we are not doing so hot. You two. No, you two engage. You engage. Try and see if we can defeat these guys. We have the initiative down here too. Alright, those three divisions are not going to make it out, are they? Not good at all. We might just lose this uh, advance that we just got. I'm going to have to go ahead and delete them because it, at least... Yeah, it's just trying to lose all the equipment and eighty percent of their manpower. That's better than losing all their manpower. Hopefully these guys can hold out. Well, we lost a ton of marines. That was not good as well. That boost is up to one point seventy seven million. That we are killing more Chinese though. So that's always a plus. As long as we kill more of them than they kill of us. How's the assault on the capital looking? Not so good either. We need to keep pushing Chinese troops away from the capital. How are we doing here? We're still fighting the communists here. Still fighting the communists here. And they're still... How are they still winning against us? Command, infantry officer, mountaineer. That should, we should gain that from the communists. We're being pushed back in the north. How are the Germans doing? Uh, Germans are actually back on the offensive again, uh, capturing back some key territories. It looks like it looks like uh, Bessarabia is being recaptured uh, from the Soviets. That was originally taken away from the Soviets. Uh, sorry, the Romanians. Um, United Kingdom has made a push into a Italy, but it looks like the Italians are actually doing something for once and pushing them back. But um. Well guys, I failed my promise to you. I told you guys that we would have victory in this episode against the Chinese. But that victory does not look like it's going to be coming this episode at all. Looks like it will be coming next episode. Uh, we really do not have any equipment at all. Here, we need to pause real quick. Alright, so... We are slowly and surely pushing onto the last... Uh, Where's this airfield at? 
Alright, so there, that is the last airbase in all of China that the Chinese enemy can control, right? Go around, let's do a let's do a quick check on everything. Make sure there's no other airfields anywhere. Alright. Oh, there's one airbase actually here that they can use, but they won't have enough space to fit all their fighters, will they? Okay. So there is one airbase, but it's not big enough to fit all their fighters, and it'll be out of range of most of our fighters um, for the time being. Once we capture this airfield, it's pretty much the air superiority for us. Um, they can scramble all their fighters into the air off these tiny airfields, which means they're crammed up. Uh, we've basically pushed most of their divisions towards the shoreline here, and I'm pretty sure in the middle here we'll be cracking the Chinese. They do have uh, 62 divisions, we have 184, but it's only because they have more manpower in their divisions than us. We don't have the equipment to feed into our men, but once this war ends and we gain all the civilian factories that are necessary to fight, as you see here we already have 11 now that aren't being used for trade goods. Uh, getting some more of these naval dockyards uh, for the sense of more convoys to ship stuff in. And then of course we're going to need to build up a navy to try and stop the Russian Pacific Fleet from overwhelming us. Now the Russians do have a ton of divisions, but hopefully we'll be able to at least get some 20 width divisions up before we invade. And we're only on volunteer only, we've got 24 million available. Plus we've got um, some in training now to resupply. Okay, I don't get that. 825,000 in the field, 100, minus 161,000 because they're training. So 663,000 in total. I don't get that. Oh, you know why? Because it's uh, puppet military as well that we have uh, counted as army. Well, we just need to keep bleeding the Chinese. Um, we're doing a good job at it. Killed a ton of them. 2.1 million. Um, 121,000 from here. 186 from here. 957 from here. Uh, hopefully we can recapitulate the communists again. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing that soon. We've conquered the southern part of communist China. And we're gaining the northern bits. We are going to need to be reinforcing our front lines though soon. Looks like. And our attack from those marines did not do so well. So we're probably going to want to retreat. I'll probably have to pull these guys out of Hainan. If we did our best, um, we pulled five divisions off of the front line. But, of course, our marines got encircled and that was the end of them. However, we are doing the Chinese damage in the south. As you see, there's a lot of green over here with this red army pushing. And a lot of guys are trapped here as well. Uh, we'll be killing a lot of Chinese soldiers and since we have a lot driven away from the capital hopefully we can capitulate it um, with the capital currently uh, in our control we've gained a lot of territory hopefully we can capture the capital because of course that capital once we capture Chongqing it's it's the end for the Chinese and actually if we if I unpause this and then pause again where does that change it to? 55, 55. Not that bad, but not what I want. Because, wait, do I even want them pushing up? I think you guys should be attacking there, right? Yeah. Have them attack there. Um, pains me to say that we have to end this episode here, but hopefully in the next episode, um, we have uh, 72 days for our basic fighters. And we're just going to be swarming the skies with fighter planes. Probably going to be shipping aluminum in from somewhere. Uh, I know we are going to run into a steel situation here shortly. Unless we increase our uh, resource gathering, which we're probably going to need to do. Probably going to have to go to war with Korea. They are uh, democratic though, so they can join the, the um, allies. So we need to watch out for that. Bro, we need to go find some steel soon because we're getting all our steel from the Soviets. I know uh, Guangxi has loads of steel, but I don't think it's going to be enough to feed us for our war with the Soviets. There is a large amount of Soviet troops on our border as well, so when we go to war, we're going to be instantly fighting the Soviet Union right off the bat um, with a war against the Soviet Union. 
but it needs to be done to finish this, uh, this walkthrough, as well as we need to aid the Germans, because it doesn't look like they're doing so good against the Soviet armies. So hopefully the combined manpower of almost probably 40 million, 50 million Chinese by the time we hit limited conscription, rushing across the border will do some damage against the enemy. And of course we also need to make our divisions bigger, um, they're too small, even too small to fight the Chinese at the moment. So that's the main reason why we're not doing so hot. Um, I would end the offensive lines now, but with the amount of progress we're doing, I don't really want to stop. I want to keep going, though we are going to get rid of the Marines in the south here. I am going to keep these Marines, though. We're going to need them. Probably do a naval invasion of North Sakhalin with them, or maybe even... No, we're probably going to need a port, so probably do a naval invasion of this port right here. I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. Uh, my navy should still be convoy raiding. Actually, let's, uh, let's hold real quick and actually do it. I only need convoy raiding here now. I don't know how many convoys they're bringing in, but... They have, non -con they have nine convoys running around for China, so... And these count as allied ports in the dock in, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye.